All right, so that was an eventful last thing. We did pretty well. We made it back to the Seamstress's Union after communing with the spirits and getting some evidence. We actually have blood evidence of the Ripper. So things are looking up. Hopefully we'll be able to find our next lead. All right, when you return to the Seamstress's Union in the early hours of the morning, it seems a completely different place. Bereft of the normal crowd that haunts it, the bar feels desolate, almost abandoned. It's eerie, like the black ho back hallways of hotels and shopping malls. But you just finally have a break in your case, a sample of the Ripper's blood. You just need someone to help you analyze it. Cool. Yep, I'm not. I don't need that. I don't need that. All right, without his color forecast. All right. There's. Is that Mr. Clean? No, it isn't. This code is in the back. All right. What I'm looking for is, I guess we won't be able to sell to him, but that guy, the the troll that is my friend. Oh, gathered around the intimate back bar, Miss Kubota and her cottery gather for breakfast. Lady herself doing the cooking, smelling of soy calves, and something resembles sausage. Fills the room. Oh, yeah. Ohio, would you like some? She stops. Forgive me, Ome, you look, but you look like hell. Been working. She looks you over, noticing signs from your nocturnal activities, and nods. Any run you can walk away from is a good run. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I've been told. I can tell you have a busy day by the look on your face. Something you need? Is this about the Ripper? Yeah. I found some DNA evidence and I need some help analyzing it. This is excellent. I'll unlock the piano for you to go downstairs. I'm certain someone in the safe house will be able to help you if they're awake. It's likely that you'll have to visit the Matrix before the day is done. Can I take a sausage? Take the whole plate. Yeah! Fuck you, Clueway. I get your sausages. All right. Um. All right. Actually, I should talk to you. Evening. What's the word around? More talk of the Ripper killings and people saying they're just hate crimes and the account of a victims all being human. There's got to be more to it than that. My thoughts exactly. All right. Uh, people are too quick to label something hate crime. Check the census. The city is still 66% humans. Close your eyes and throw a rock. You're more likely to hit a human. Doesn't make it a hate crime. Still a crime though, and that should be enough first real rise you've seen out of him. He reins himself in with a roll of his thick shoulders, smoothing of his jacket. Don't worry, I'm not going to start throwing rocks. I wouldn't want to reinforce the stereotype. Leave you to your business. Alright. I really like this troll. He's got a healthy attitude. Okay. Um, let's head on downstairs. I've been doing a lot of legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace. Back to ID the Ripper. The Matrix. Cybernetic analog inside the grid. A worldwide computer network. A digital world. Information brought to life. Inside cyberspace, your avatar does all the work while your meat body's left behind. All around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counterintrusion programs, and other jacked-in runners. Cyberspace has many, danger as many dangers as the meat world, and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures, and black ice... They can fry a Decker's brain. Every moment you take in the Matrix, you can be tracked. But if you aren't careful, get dump shocked and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy Decker and you can die. Alright, well. Okay. I'm David Fry. I'm gonna go check over here. Oh wait, what's up in my locker? Oh yeah, this is my stash. I haven't put anything in there really. Alright, um. Before I go talk to anybody and get all... Kittledy piddly. Oh, hey, Van Grass. Hey, buddy. You're still hanging around? I got something for you. I have a flight recorder. You don't have to be an Aries flight recorder. Very powerful. are looking for that right now. And get rid of it, say, 20%. So that leaves thousands, two thousands for you. How about deal? Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go see about getting jacked in. And it is Mr. Clean. The man. The legend. Morning. You look like you've been up all night. Well, I have. I've seen some action, too. Can either of you do a DNA analysis on a blood fry? Doc Castle's equipment isn't really set up for that. He considers for a minute. I could employ a semiconductor chip. I could decode the DNA using a voltage change instead of light. I could eliminate the use of highly expensive equipment that could be required otherwise. I... Yeah, whatever, man. Do it. He reads a journal about the information, or I read a journal about it, so the information's fresh. Frankly, it would be easy. You want to know about it? The owner's identity. Ah, that's beyond me. I can, all I can get you is a gene code sequence. That's where I come in. David, if you can get me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we can track its owner down via a matrix run. 
Oh yeah, running with Johnny Clean. Will do. We have the DNA. Sure. Mac, when David gives me the sequence, I'll jack in and help you trace the blood sample back to its source. Um. Yeah. If this works, I'll bring Mac more than just a sample. Uh, whose blood is it? Could be the Emerald City Rippers. No Drek. Turns to Johnny excited. Wake up, Johnny boy. You got work to do. Mac, if you need any gear, I'll be right here. You know, I might need some help. I just got my second wind. Meet you at my rig, Mac. All right. Um, I'm a... Yeah, buddy, you got me. Let me take a look at some hardware here. Oh, I don't need those. Um, oh, wait. Do I, should I be buying programs before I go in the Matrix? I can't use any of them, so I don't know what I would do. Uh, maybe he'll give me a run and a rundown on what I'm supposed to be doing. And then, perhaps, I could do a better job here. Thanks to the semiconductor based gene sequencing program that David employed, we should have information we need to track the Ripper in the Matrix. That's nice, Mr. Clean. I'm really impressed with his results, considering it was his first attempt. Utilizing an unproven technique, he read about in a science journal, and he was still working from memory on minimal sleep. That's great, Professor. What's the plan? Um, we hit Lone Star Database to see if we... Uh, 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 to the deck. Jack into the Matrix. I can get into private grid easily, but I've got to warn you, once you're in, it's a little rough. How much decking? I have had no experience. I have a trode net here. It's a headband you wear that lets you piggyback on me in the Matrix. You'll see and hear everything I do. Fun. Okay, so here's Johnny. I get to be Johnny Clean. Here's his programs. Killer. 75 damage. 40 IP. Okay, uh, reduces alarm state by 4. Sniffer. Creates an attack expert program. Oh, an attacker. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cancel. Give me one second, buddy. I'm gonna go buy you some cool stuff. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Urgh, out of combat mode. You fat finger one key and the game is just like, bro, you gotta I don't wanna be I don't wanna be in this mode. I'm not trying to kill anyone. End. I just wanna go talk to this guy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. End. How do I stop combat mode? Like I'm not even supposed to be fighting. Oh, okay, he's jacking in cancel. Just hold on. We're gonna, yeah, I got this. Here we go. David Fry, come here, buddy. That's better. I'll take a look. I think it just got stuck. I don't know. It glitched out and got stuck in combat mode, but that's okay. That's okay. Um. Attacker, Exploder, Execute Shield. I'm thinking of buying him an assassin program. I don't know if that's something he wants, but that's what I'm buying for me. So, it's what's gonna happen. Alright, so then... Jack in, and I'm gonna give you all of my. Oh, he doesn't get to use his my stash. Oh well, wasted five hundred dollars. Oh well. Yeah, you can end your turn, buddy. All right. Your synapses light up as you connect your consciousness to the digital world. Although you aren't jacked in like Johnny, the sens sensation is overwhelming and electrifying. You can only imagine what it feels like for him. Okay. Flying without a safety net in here don't know where I'm going. There's something. Data stores ahead, fended by countermeasures. Okay, well then let's scoot up there. I like my terminal. Um, where's my, can I, yeah, can I run a program here? Yeah, attacker. You're really cool looking. All right. Um, let's kill something. How much health do these things have? Can I do that again? No. All right, well, end the turn. I maybe shouldn't attack the countermeasures, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
shifting shit. I'm, I'm used to the smaller numbers, like the Decker stats are all crazy. Still not doing super great. Alright, um, let's shoot another kill bolt at him. I don't know, move up here, I guess? I don't really want to get killed. Oh, I can just bolt? Oh, okay. I don't have to... Let's get on here. Yeah! He's my steel. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have stuck my neck out. Oh, no, he missed. Alright, fire it up. There, that's not bad. Alright, cool. Okay, um, now before we do anything so Rash is trying to continue, let's heal up pretty much as much as we can. Can I heal more? Nope, three turn cooldown. Whatever. Alright. Two, three. Yeah, it's just for the best to be fully healed before we go into something else crazy. Alright. DNA match located. 100% match. Arrest records database. Silius Forsberg. Deceased. Chops up. Surgical assistant. Breaking and entering. Two counts. Indec indecency. One count. Brought in for questioning. Accusations were unlicensed. Of unlicensed pla plastic surgery. No charges were filed. Well. A dead man? Well. That could be right though. He could totally not really be dead. And if I. Um. Is that a one use? Oh yeah, that's a one use. Oh well, he doesn't have any. Hold on, we'll just move him through here. I don't want to get rid of my attack program because dude could very well be. One oh here, autopsy records. Let's do that. Damn, the Matrix is a hostile place. All right, let's go. Drop some bombs on him. Or just chill out for the time being, actually. Energy blast. Alright. Bam. Come on, come on, come on. Got two more hits. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking. Uh, I like that, like, you know, he, we're doing, we're in here shooting fucking energy blasts at little red balls, and he's like, I got more hits on the same thing. There we go. Is that it? Alright, let's get the autopsy records then. Autopsy records. Silius Forsberg. No, subject was found overdosed on half a dozen different sedatives. Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, possibly self-inflicted. That is nasty. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to his disfigurement. Had to check the dental records to confirm. No next of kin. You know, suspicious as fuck. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on his body, possibly due large bore surgical needles. Body had been decomposing for several weeks prior to before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police. No one answered the door. Pretty sure this Silas was a plant. I mean, because who would use large bore surgical needles on yourself? Ugh. Yeah. Come on, let's go back this way. Nope, come on, program. Get your ass over here. Alrighty. Team up. Let's go through. There we go. Alright, um... What the fuck did I just do? Shit. Okay. Well, I'm for sure gonna hit him. That was not a good mistake to make right now. Um, oh well. Let's go see how we do this. Luckily, they can't really hit. Um, let's get rid of this century first. finish this guy out. <sighs> I have got to figure out where I'm clicking. This whole matrix is a little bit hard to follow. 
Okay, we'll zoom in here and try to be there. Alright, stop complaining, man. You got this. No problem. So done. Easy. Alright. News Net 1. Return on subject. Silius Forsberg, the body of Silius Forsberg, a sh chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Slumush earlier this week. The body was there for as long as a month before for six landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death was, has been ruled a suicide. Man, cut up your own face and they still call it a suicide. Um, his body had a mass of puncture wounds and the cause of death was determined by an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. Rand's employers claims he was a dedicated employee, although he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed his estate and located a will pr written weeks earlier, leaving all of his belongings to a, his psychiatrist. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns. Yet another sad end to a life, not too common here in this brawl. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. How do we jack out? Oh, we have to run back the other way. Mr. Clean. Let's go. Uh, sorry, buddy. You get to stay. Yep. So here's what we do know. Our Diavanatus belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He was working with chop shops, which fits the living guy that you've met. Newsnet says he left his estate to his psychiatrist. Maybe we'll find out who his psychiatrist is. We'll give us the next clue. My gut says we can deck into the medical board's records and traces this doctor. You in? Punch it, buddy. Let's do it. Um, do we still have? Yeah, we do. Rock and roll. Getting better at this. Alright, so here's our entrance. Let's scoot on forward here. Well, that was easy. Um, let's play our attacker buddy here. Unle unleash the dragon. go toasted just coast you over here all right um all right hacked patient records for forsberg medical file for uh forsberg located all right what do we got pediatric record part one particular pediatrician's entry stands out in the rest Child suffers from chronic depression and social anxiety, most li likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently with the outbreak of changeling children being born. This is back when elves were not really super um, well known. The aberrant t physiology we're seeing here is telling sort of brain functions have been affected. A prescribed a series of sedatives last year seemed to have no effect, upping the dosage. Okay. How about this one? Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administrator for help. Alright, so from 2030 to 40, the file is quite large and takes over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is most significant. Written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silius has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through a period of violent episodes. His latest medications are proving especially effective, but I leave, believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He is bonded with me in an unhealthy and frankly unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in a form of mimicked speech patterns, adopting my dress. And for this reason, for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to this case. I will inform him next session. All right. Got a name. D. Holmes. Let's get on out. We'll see what else we can do. Black ice. Bear. Oh, shit. All right. Fire it up. Let's unleash all the tornado of death here. Yeah. 
Fire rank, fire one, fire rank two. Nice. No brain death for us. Holmes currently holds a position of chief psychiatrist and administrator at the Mercy Mental Hospital in Washington. Previous employers: psychiatrist in residence, psychiatrist in attending psychiatrist, private practice. So before that, he was a private practice, but now he's sort of. Let's see. Um, even employee records. Okay, so. Bingo, back to meat space. All right, let's get out of here. You, uh, and. There we go. There we are. Successful hacking. Reality is at the end of the day contextual. If meat will comes back, you focus your head once again, tries to settle, the world is the real one. The philosophical question lingers in your meat body. It demands for food and drink. Disconnect from your deck and find that the Union safe house has risen. Alright. Thanks, everybody. Oh, why am I here, I guess? Oh, alright. Just one glance is all you need to tell is a good doctor is exhausted. A crumpled scrubs with a mixture of blood and other fluids too colorful to be naturally occurring in the human body. Her eyes are those of a person who has been up, built up a substantial sleep debt and has no idea when she's about to begin paying it off. I'm not one to talk, but you look like Drek. Afraid there isn't much I can do for that. Snaps her fingers and call force her spirit. Normally seen perched on her shoulder. It appears from the um, ether. Uh, the doctor immediately seems less fatigued than she was a moment ago. What can I do for you? I want to look at cyberware. Mm -mm -mm. See, I like this idea of ads. Let's do that. Uh, give me one. Mm. Oh, you can't get the same thing twice? What the hell? Um... Add body adds two armor. Sure. Or wait. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's money I'm running out of. Okay. Give me my other arm. And then. What? Can't I cue anything else? Confirm. Wait. wait. Cyberware causes actions loss. Yes. Okay. Fine. Give me. Give me, all right, give me cyberware. I want to look, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. That's why I don't have enough essence. That's fine, all right. Everything all right here, doc? Days tend to be slow, so I volunteered in a medical center on the other side of tourist bill. Had a rough shift. What happened? What is that? Some run or some deal or something went south, led thing to leather to another, et cetera, et cetera. And hear all the details, but what I really know is when it came off the lips of the victims, healthy enough to still speak. Apparently one of the Baron's gangs incurred the wrath of locals. Up to rings, led to a rolling shootout in the city streets. The real mess didn't begin until the party was crashed into a road of an old industrial plant on in Union Hall. It woke some sort of toxic spirit, which then began running amok, easily causing damage in the, after the initial battle. God damn it. Um, I, that sucks. Alright, I wanna... Can I? I can't remove them. 
All right, well, fine. I was gonna get legs because legs increase your quickness, but I guess I'll have to deal with these cyber arms. Fuck yeah. They kind of look pretty sweet though, so I'm not too broke up about it. All right. Um, boop, 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 boop. You know, because if there's one thing you want to be doing, it's trading your soul for the chance to look cool. All right. Um, this episode has gone on real darn long, so what I think I'm going to do is, although it seems unconventional, I'm going to just pause right here, and then we'll pick it up and talk to the people around the bar and do the next step in the next episode.